Well, all right. It's your boy, Art Zar, back with you live in effect for yet another coach reveal and review. And I'm not going to be reviewing these movies, unfortunately. I just pulled them out to put them on today. But I have a treat for you guys. Nonetheless, even though it's not in front of the camera yet, but you know how I like to do it. Bang! There we go. What we have here, my good people, is the West camera bag. And as you can see here, this is a pretty good pickup that I actually got not too long ago here from Coach Outlet. Yeah, sometimes, like I said, you can find good finds in there. You could sometimes find retail items in there if you are steadfastly on the observative. If you keep your eyes peeled, you never know what you might come across. So you always have to be looking and prodding around and just being mindful of things that are in your periphery. You never know what will drop in your face or in your lap, uh, for lack of a better word. But let's get into this uh, particular item. So what we have here, the West camera bag. It's a nice uh, size bag. Now it is intended for a camera or some type of camera equipment, but of course I don't use it for that. I have my other camera bag that's larger than this because I have a pretty good amount of equipment that I usually lug around on a day-to-day -day basis. So this bag pretty much would not suffice it uh, for the purposes intended. So therefore, I am using this bag as a crossbody. And I'm gonna tell you something, this bag is made exquisitely. If you look at it in its pure beauty, you see the coach embossment there. Uh, obviously they decided to do that versus come out with some loud patch or something like that. Sometimes the patches are cool, but sometimes the subtleties are what matter. It's the little things, like Denzel said, it's the little things. <laughs> but anyways, back to what I was saying here. Let's go over this particular item. Pick this up uh, on sale, obviously. It was like maybe 50% off or something like that. Got it for about a buck 75 or somewhere around in there. I can't remember exactly the price, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, as a review item, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna do this and take a look. I've been carrying this bag for the past few weeks. Actually, I've taken it on a couple of uh, business trips already. And I'm gonna tell you something. In a different environment, this bag comes in. It's been through Florida and Georgia and some other places like that. Uh, let me tell you. Let's start with, first of all, the material. Obviously, this is tumbled or rather pebbled leather, depending upon how you want to say it. My boy Curtis Solar calls it tumbled leather. But you know how I like to do it. <laughs> Sometimes I just call it what it is. It does have complete jet black accents all around it for the tubing. I originally thought maybe it would have been or maybe it was some type of ox blood. But as I got a little closer, I do have an ox blood trekker tote that uh, resembles this bag in terms of the material of chosen leather that coach decided to go with on this one but hey it's cool that there's no ox blood on this it's all black you can see it's lacquered around the uh the points there now you have all metal metal zippers on this thing which actually i like a little bit better and sometimes the plastic ones uh you know it was difficult to zip it with one hand because it's tougher but anyway it opens very well very nice size compartments on this bag uh you could get in this or access it pretty easily. It's not too difficult to gain uh, entry of this particular item when it's crossbody or on your side or your shoulder. Uh, of course, there's a mask carrying here. It's a company called Coat of Arms. Make really good items, you guys should check them out. Pretty good mask. It's very hot though. <laughs> it works better in the winter time, trust me. Anyways, uh, this bag, like I said, let's get into dimensions before I just crack this thing open. I'm sorry guys, I get so excited. I get so excited, just please forgive me, I get so excited. This bag, I would say, is about a good 10 inches in width, uh, maybe 11, and it's more than likely going to be about 7 or 8 inches in height. Now, the depth of this bag, I, I actually take it from about up here to the base of the bag. I never start about right here, although there, it's a step type of system. There's two zippers on each step. Uh, actually, there's one zipper per step on this particular item, from the lowest level to the mid-range to the high. And this bag, of course, the width, I would give it a good four inches wide I would like to say four inches or so maybe four and a half it does the trick very well accented with leather tabs very well constructed as you know what to expect when it comes to coach you're going to get your money's worth you're going to get a top tier item come on guys I don't have to go into that um, the item of like I said the interior you're going to have your nylon lining and it's pretty tough you're going to be able to uh, access this thing, like I said earlier, uh, readily and easily. 
And it's also going to be a lot of pocket space. These, these pouch pockets are pretty spacious. Uh, the one in the front is not the most spacious in the bag, but it does give you an opportunity to slide like you see here, this mask. Uh, you know, you can throw your phone in there, that'll work. I put my keys in this particular pouch sometimes. Or no, actually no. Uh, you can put something like a retainer case or something in there. You know, maybe a makeup bag or you know whatever your ladies like to carry. If you want to carry this bag, you can obviously throw pretty much anything here. Chewing gum, the small ancillary items you can put in here with ease, okay? now. Let's go to the next level, which is going to be stage two, which is the mid-range area of this bag, okay? Uh, as you go in here, obviously this is more of a, a way deeper pocket. You're, you're, you're getting the full from here to about here. You're getting all of that height in terms of the depth of this bag. So you're getting all of this with the nice nylon lined uh, pocket. You're obviously gonna get about, I would say, woo, ooh man, you're gonna get the full width of the bag and about a good five or so inches tall in height of this particular uh, pocket. So it leads us to your imagination. You can get anything here, snacks, chips, whatever you want. You can put a water bottle or a drink bottle in there. Uh, maybe something like that if you need to. You can climb to the third level and it's gonna be even larger. Now this is, what, this is my favorite pocket because in here, there's an inside pocket. Obviously, if you go a little closer, there, there's the coach tab. You know, the good old coach tab uh, label uh, for authenticity. This particular little inside pouch or pocket, this is where I would stick my wallet. I line my coach wallet inside of this tab here because it's very easy to access the item and it keeps it protected from all of the other items. Now, I'll slide my phone in here. To me, I get way more use out of the bag by putting my phone near my wallet. I can easily access this because obviously it's gonna be the closest to you being it, that it's at the top, okay? This is where I will slide my keys. I'll put my wallet and things in here, my cell phone in there. Everything else I put in here, I'll put some extra items in there that I may need. But as you can see, this is a very spacious crossbody bag. I would recommend this 10 times out of 10. And like I said, guys, it doesn't have to come from retail all of the time. Sometimes retail uh, does fit the bill, sometimes it does not. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't need retail. Sometimes you can go to outlet and get just as a nice bag as you would if you were uh, uh, at the retail store. I'm sorry, outlet, Ugh, forgive me. You can get just as good as an item from outlet that you could at retail. And sometimes you will find, like I said earlier, retail items in outlets. So you just have to be mindful and just keep your peripherals wide open so you'll run across things from time to time that will jump out at you you guys got to keep your eyes open though how many times i got to tell you and of course this does the number one thing and uh basically solves the number one problem i see in america still right now which is bps bulky pocket syndrome that's out guys all my guys out there okay women are expected to carry purses and things like that cross bodies they're going to have their versions of this stuff that we won't carry because it's more feminine but women can carry the masculine uh, type items and get away with it. It's okay. Uh, but my point there is, guys, you have to carry some type of backpack or crossbody or something, some type of messenger bag. Get something, guys. Don't let me walk across the parking lot and see you with a bulky pocket because I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom of it and let everything fall out on the ground. That's what I'm going to do. Okay? I'm telling you now. If I see you with a bulky pocket, I'm just going to walk up to you, cut a hole in the bottom of your pocket, and watch everything just hit the ground because that's where it belongs doesn't belong in your pocket guys okay no more both pockets done especially in the summertime when you're rocking your chinos and your linen uh pants or linen shorts or whatever you can't be walking around with a big brick in your pocket guys that's that's a no-go okay let's refrain from that now as you can see i have the leather tabs on here also the leather pull tabs this is gunmetal finish which is amazing by the way it is reflective i kind of like the reflective light when it hits it because it's so pretty so pretty but anyway <laughs> i digress obviously you're going to have your nylon uh strap seat belt material it is accented very well with single track stitching around the leather uh fastener and your d-ring uh clamps that hold the uh strap in place and you can adjust it it is adjustable with another adjustable leather uh tab so this particular item it can carry long it can carry short depends on how you want to do it okay so there are no restrictions as to how you can carry this. You can strap it across your shoulder. You can wear it around the back of your back if you like. Really is your decision how you want to do it. 
There are no rules, okay? There are no rules at all, all right? You make the decision, you make the choice, you make it happen, okay? So guys, again, ladies, guys, people all around, all walks of life, this is the West camera bag. And again, I digress, not gonna, <laughs> not going to review my lubies, unfortunately, but uh, this is the West camera bag. Here is the, uh, the item itself. You can now see the uh, retail SKU number and all the good stuff to find this in the store if you so choose to go and do so. All right, just go to Coach Ashley. Had maybe five or six of these when I got this bag a few weeks back. Uh, but then again, so I was blessed and highly favored to pick up one of these. I went back the next day and they were all gone. That's how fast they fly off the shelves, guys. Or in this particular case, the racks. They don't hang around, okay? Good coach bags don't last, all right? The bottom, of course, is obviously single track stitching. The nylon threads on there that's gonna hold this bag intact. Gonna hold it very firmly in place. Like I said, I've taken this on a couple of business trips already. This thing does the trick, man. You're walking around, you're hot, you're trying to access stuff. You dig right into this bag, pull out your item, bang, you're done, okay? Yeah, in that particular instance, uh, this is going to carry you places where you normally won't get to go without it, guys. Digging in your pockets, looking for all this stuff. You're going to drop your phone and crack it on the face when you drop it. Trying to find your chapstick or something like that. Trying to get to your keys or the change or your dollar bills that you're in your pocket or your debit card. It's going to fall out because you don't have the room in your pockets because you're carrying too much crap. Okay? No more bucket pockets. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for you today. A very, very small item. I just want to share this with you guys. Keep your eyes peeled. Hit that notification bell so that you're alerted of the latest, newest, uh, and ground, most groundbreaking items that I actually come across. I don't purchase everything, just the stuff that I think we all need to see out of Coach. Or I don't review everything. Just the, just the, the real nice subtleties of what matter. Remember, like Denzel said, it's the little things. <laughs> so again, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let your boy know what he's doing wrong, what I can do to improve. I'm always trying to get a little better at this, guys. I'm not the best in the world, but I'm not the worst, but I'm working on it, okay? So don't, don't lambast me too much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit me with too many of the lashes. I can't take with so much of it. But anyway, guys, I thank you all for listening. Thank you for uh, checking this one out. And remember, I'm here. Guys, it's been a pleasure. It's your boy, Art Zar, Live in Effect, and I'm out. Peace.